Okay, so I'm gonna show everybody this very stress relieving exercise. Anybody can do it. People who say that they can't draw, well, you could try this and you will find out you can make a beautiful picture. The idea is to imitate the neurons in your brain. And that's why this is called neurographics. All you need is a black pen, any kind of black pen, a piece of paper. And the idea is to start with your non-dominant hand. And so you take your non-dominant hand, you start at one end of the paper and you're going to make a wavy line and you can make a loop or a squiggly line and you end at the other side of the paper. We're gonna make a few of those and then I will show you what's after that. If you're right-handed, so you start with your left hand and wherever the pen takes you, wherever your brain takes you is where this pen. Just think of something that you would like to improve in your life Think of something that's stressful. As you're thinking about it, draw the line. The process of neurographic art is important because it is a creative method of transforming the world. And that's what Pavel Piskarev of Russia said in, when he coined the term neurographica in 2014. Research shows that the act of making art is good for the brain because it decreases stress levels and increases focus. And I can attest to that. Just keep doing that until you feel like your paper is balanced. You wanna feel balanced. I'm gonna go around the edge of the page here. And then I'm gonna end there. Okay, I, I feel like that's good enough for my picture. Just for the lines. Now I'm going to add some circles and I'm gonna just trace around this, but I'm going to use my dominant hand now to trace this because I think I will get a better trace that way. So I'm gonna trace around this circle. And then I'm gonna trace around this roll of tape. I think I'll trace on the inside of it. And in my opinion, I think you should do at least three circles. But if you're going to put more, then I would do five. Always do an odd number. Odd numbers look much better. Oh, it doesn't feel right to overlap that one for some reason, so I'm not going to. And I'm going to trace this way. And I'm going to trace here. The next step is to, everywhere there's an intersecting line. Okay, so right here where it's intersecting, you wanna curve, you wanna make all the lines nice and smooth and curved so that there's no harsh lines. So I'm gonna curve them like, around like this. And this is the relaxing part where you color it in. And then everywhere there's a intersecting line, you just keep continuing. You can thicken the line and then color it in. Okay, I'm going to time lapse this and show you what it looks like. After smoothing out every intersecting line and filling it in with black, I am going to be using watercolor pencils and I'm going to color around the edge of every design, kind of leaving the inside of it open so that it looks like a, a light shadow in the middle of it. And you'll see that coming up. Uh, here, here it is right here. And just color around each section or you could put two or three sections together it's up to you whatever you feel like you could put more than one color in a section but it's totally up to you whatever you feel is stress-free 
just finishing up and filling in the rest of the areas with color and excited about smoothing it out with the water. So as you saw, I colored around the edge of all of the designs with these watercolor pencils. And I only have a set of 12. I don't think you need more than that. I mean, if you have more, that's awesome, but you can have more colors, but it's just a set of 12. I didn't even use all 12 of them. So I have this watercolor brush. I'm going to activate the pencil that I colored. So when the water hits it, it's going to spread it and activate it like real watercolor. So this is how it goes. This is how it works. So I'm just gonna keep it, the paint um, to the edge. It's almost like those little books that we had when we were kids with the dots and they were colors and then you would just put water on it and spread the paint. And then with whatever's left just on the brush, on the white part, then that's when I color that in and it will leave a nice white, lighter color in the center. So I'm gonna do all the green while I have green on my brush. As you can see, then I'm just gonna spread this and then I'll just spread it out a little bit in the middle. And if you have a Kleenex, you can even blot out the center if there's too much paint. Because we, what we wanna do is keep the center of each spot a lighter color. I'm going to just let this time lapse and let you enjoy how the colors come to life when activated with the water. you enjoyed this video and I really hope that you will try it yourself and just see how relaxing this exercise can be. And I will put at the end of this video a neurographic art piece that I did on the iPad as well. So once again, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I appreciate you all and I hope you have a wonderful day.